It's about to get real fruity up in here. Hey guys, welcome to Bourbon Bites. I'm Clifton, and today we're reviewing Compass Box's latest addition to their core lineup, Orchard House. You may have noticed I'm not using my green screen like I normally do. This label is very green, so I figured that wouldn't work very well. Plus, it gives me a chance to wear my one-up shirt, which if you're interested in this or some other cool merch, check out bourbonbites.threadless.com. Like I said, this is coming to their core lineup, so it should be pretty easy to find. Um, it just was released late September, so might take it a minute to show up in your stores, uh, but this was available in mind for $50. Um, and it comes in at 46% ABV. Here's a quick look at the label on this whiskey. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think it's really unique. It definitely stands out on the shelf. You definitely have your apples and your flowers and some snails. And hopefully there's no snail notes in this. We'll see. <laughs> and some butterflies. It's just a very beautiful label. If you're not familiar with Compass Box, um, I've done several streams on my channel where I've tasted many of their whiskeys. Um, so definitely check those out. But they are known for making some incredible blends. Most, if not all, are non-chill filtered, non-color added. Um, and they source from so many different distilleries. They're super transparent on their website. They tell you almost exactly what's in each bottle to the amount that they can. Um, and this this one's no exception. So check out the description below to see more info about what's in this, but the idea behind this one was to make a very fruit forward blend. So 39% of this whiskey is from the Linkwood Distillery, 29% is from Kleinleash, and 20% is from Ben Rins, Ben Ryan's. I'm not actually familiar with that distillery, so if you know more info about that, let me know in the comments below. And of course, a few other whiskeys. Like I said, all that info is on their website. I'm really excited about this because I don't really have very many fruit forward whiskeys, especially scotches in my collection. So I'm excited to try it for you guys and let you know what I think. So like I said, all natural color. So it is pretty light. And the interesting thing about this one is almost all of these whiskeys that went to this were actually aged at Compass Box. So sometimes they source, you know, barrels that have been aging for years at the actual distilleries they're from. But they said that this one is mostly made up of whiskey that they got as new distillate and aged on their own. So that's pretty cool. It's actually really an interesting twist on what we typically see from Compass Box. And maybe it's a good idea of what's coming in the future when they're able to age even more at their own uh, location. And actually to do a quick Google search to see where they're based, they're actually based in Chiswick, which is a district of West London in England. So even though this whiskey did come from Scotland, it seems like most of this was aged in England, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and give this a nose. Oh yeah, just as I expected, this is green apple and a little bit pear forward. Very, very sweet, very crisp. It's kind of reminiscent of a tea. It's very bright, it's very citrusy. Um, it's, it's very, very lovely on the nose. I could nose this for a long time. Actually, if I wore perfume, I would want perfume that smells like this because it just smells lovely. If the taste is anywhere as good as this nose, this is a winner. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Cheers, guys. Oh wow, it's a little different. It does start out more malt forward, um, but sometimes maltiness to me can come across as grainy. This isn't really that. It's got the nice depth and the richness of a malt whiskey, but it doesn't have like the cereal grain kind of note, but it takes a dive in like the honey direction. It's very thick. The mouthfeel on that for a 46% ABV whiskey is just incredible. This is rich. It's still bright and it's still fruit forward, but it has a lot of depth to it. Yeah, second sip, I'm brought right back to that like apple, uh, green apple note, especially like apple skins, really, really bright. Now, usually with bright whiskeys, I'm always worried that they're gonna be a bit floral. Floral is a note that a lot of people love on a whiskey. To me, floral is not really my thing. Even on bourbons, if anything has a bit of a floral note, I tend to gravitate away from it. However, this doesn't have that at all. It has all the brightness, all the richness of the fruit. So for me, this is an absolutely delicious pour. Very different from most of the scotch in my collection because it's so bright. And usually when you think bright, you think, you know, lightweight, you know, very subtle. This is not a subtle whiskey. This has tons and tons of flavor, almost as much flavor as some cast strength whiskeys. So there's a lot going on in the glass, even though it may seem like I'm saying it's, oh, it's delicate, it's light. Yes, it is those things. But once you take a sip, it is so full, it's so rich with flavor. Bright flavors, yes, but still, rich and delightful. They actually call this a pre-dinner whiskey, which I could totally see that. It's not gonna wreck your palate. It's gonna maybe, you know, activate your taste buds a bit. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a great, you know, starter to your night. So now's the time where I tell you, is this a winner or loser whiskey? It's my new rating system, by the way. What do y'all think? I thought it kind of went with the video game thing. Let me know in the comments below. But for $50, 46% ABV, this is a winner. 
I really, really love this whiskey. I'm so excited that it's a regular staple that's gonna be on the shelves, be readily available, um, because this will definitely not be my last bottle of this. It's absolutely lovely. I honestly think you could give this to someone that's not typically a whiskey drinker, but that does prefer cocktails, and they're gonna get a lot out of this glass, and they actually might turn to scotch after trying this. So definitely let me know in the comments below if you've tried this, what did you think of it? Did you like it as much as I did? Very curious to hear what you guys think of it, because I'm a big fan. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up before you leave, and subscribe if you want to see more bourbon and whiskey reviews with a gaming twist. With that, this has been Bourbon Bites. Cheers, and I'll see you next video.